Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. My name's Rick. Let's talk about 2023. So 2023 was a good year for the wood shop. We didn't put out a lot of content, but we put out some good content. Um, we, we've had a couple of videos that, uh, that really meant a lot to me as far as the projects that I was involved in, but I wanted to take just a few minutes and talk about some of the successes of 2023 and what is still to come uh, in 2024. So first off, I would like to thank all 877 subscribers and the 44,000 views that our channel received this year. We had 44.2 thousand views, and that's just over uh, 1,500 hours of watch time, and, and I couldn't have done it without any of you. Uh, in 2023, we gained 297 subscribers to bring us to a grand total of 877. Um, and, and honestly, I, I never anticipated this kind of growth on the channel. Um, it, it, it means a lot to me. This isn't my first YouTube channel that I've had. I've got a gaming channel also. Some of you know me from there. Uh, but honestly, I started doing this woodworking thing. As I picked up a hobby that I had earlier in life and, and picked it up again during the pandemic. And, and you guys have welcomed it and I appreciate it very, very much. Our most successful video in 2023 and honestly since it was published in 2021 is our uh, is our one on don't spend a fortune on right angle clamps you know you can get those woodpecker clamps for a lot of money the right angle aluminum ones i made some in the shop i still have them to this day and they still work just like the day that i made them i've actually got a couple of sets of them now so if you haven't seen that video I encourage you to go watch it because you don't need to spend a lot of money to do a woodworking as a hobby. It's an expensive hobby, but it's only as expensive as you make it, right? Now, I will warn you, and this is the top comment for all, for all of the people that have watched this video, it does have a spot in there where the audio, where the music does get pretty loud. So if you're using headphones, be on, be on the lookout. Uh, after that, uh, it was our dust cyclone video. So we put out a video where we improved the Bauer Dust Cyclone uh, collection. Uh, oh, going back, the, the, this, the right angle clamp that had 14,000 views this year alone. 14,000 views this year alone. And then right behind it, the Dust Cyclone, another 9,000 views. So thank you to everybody that watched those videos. And, uh, and I do appreciate it very, very much. Um, after that, we had just a bunch of shorts that, that did really well. Honestly, the video that meant the most to me was the shadow box build that I did for my friend Billy. Uh, check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. I'll make sure to link all of these videos that were uh, some of my highlights for 2023 going forward. Now, what is coming up in 2024? I've got a couple of videos planned uh, that are in the works right now. Uh, I have a few videos that, uh, that I'd like to make. I'm just not sure if we're going to get there. So the ones that are definitely in the cards is we recently got a new track saw. You can see the track saw rails over there off to the side. We got, some, we got a new track saw this year. I'd like to build some accessories for that track saw. I don't have a lot of money. A lot of you don't have a lot of money either. And so I need to do things on a budget. And so we're going to make a 90 degree guide, uh, a 90 degree rail guide, so we can use it for cross cutting. Uh, we're also going to build a, uh, a hinge so that we can mount one of them to our bench top so that we can fold it up out of the way and we still have like a cross cut station because as you may recall, we got rid of our miter saw. We got rid of our miter saw because it was a space hog and I need that space for other things. So we need our track saw to take the place of our miter saw. So we're going to make a couple of improvements to make that happen. Be on the lookout for those videos. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do and turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any of that content. The other build that I've got coming for you in the very near future is a dust extraction system for the shop. Um, again, not a lot of money to do things with, so I need to be a little bit creative in how I do things. And so I am going to build a dust air filtration system for the shop. Not a, not a chip collection or a, a, a dust collection for the table saw or anything like that. Just the inbound, just the airbound stuff, right? So all of the dust that wafts around in the air, we're going to some, build something that will help clean that air up a little bit. Also, I have a Harbor Freight plane. 
supposed to be a Stanley number four. It's not really a Stanley number four. It's similar. Uh, it's more like a smoothing plane kind of a thing. And, uh, but it, it's, it's okay, but it needs to be sharpened. It needs to have some tune-up done to it. So we're gonna do some work on this. And we also got the, the, the Mohu sharpening jig system. Uh, we picked up one of these, but like many of you have found out, when you buy this, you don't get the gauge that tells you how far in to set your blades. So we're gonna do something about that as well. So if you're interested in any of that content, once again, it should be coming here within the next couple of months. Uh, again, full-time job, YouTube channel, priorities have to take place. So we are going, we, we actually have been on vacation for a little bit. We're going back to work in just a couple of days. And so, eh. but uh, definitely got some videos coming up. My, my idea for 2024 is to try and release a video a month. Now, are we gonna get to that? I don't know. I certainly hope so, but that's the intent. Uh, also, I have in the works a couple of other jig related uh, videos that I'd like to make sure that we get put out. One is a uh, like a, a straight line rip jig for the table saw. Also, it's been about two years since I built the table saw, so I'm thinking about doing a review of what's been good, what's been bad, what I've had to fix, and what's still working well. So if you're interested, again, in any of that content, make sure you leave that down in the comments so that we can talk about it, and I got an idea of what kinds of things you all might like to see. Also, the lumber storage here behind me, it's gonna to go to a different place. I'm gonna move it to a different place in the garage thing. I probably won't record that. Maybe we do a live stream and just move it all in a live stream. Again, tell me if that's something that interests you all and, uh, and we'll try to, try to accommodate you any way that we can. Oh, one other video that I've got hopefully coming, well, two, is again, we need to rebuild the workbench. So again, still working on plans for that and lumber is still not super cheap. So we'll get there. If you'd like to help to support the channel, one way you can do that is through Patreon. If, you're, if you really like what we're doing here, if you like the direction that this channel is heading, then please head over to Patreon and see if there's a way that you'd like to help. Um, but yeah, we need to rebuild this. And then the, uh, the, other, the other video that I was thinking about, the other thing that I was thinking about uh, making is a CNC router. I don't have a lot of money to buy one, but I do have some of the components where I could actually build one and it'd be a decent sized one. So, Again, if you're interested in that, leave it down in the comments. Leave anything down in the comments that you think we might want to work on here in the shop. We're a tinkering kind of shop. We're a weekend warrior kind of shop. So anything that you think might fit that bill, I'd be glad to see if we can make a video about it. But uh, again, thank you all for a great 2023. I wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that all of your resolutions are, are resolute and that you can stick to them and that you can accomplish great things in 2024. I wish that for each and every one of you. I wish you all the best. 2024 is shaping up to be a great year. I certainly hope that it is. 2023 was a great year. And again, as always, thanks for watching.